I recently did a video on reasons why you might be struggling to lose weight even though you are on a low carbohydrate or ketogenic diet and I'm going to link that down below here if you haven't seen it because they're quite useful um, things to bear in mind but this one is particularly about where you may find hidden sugars because in that video I refer to hidden sugars in your food that you might not be aware that you're eating and that is one of the reasons why you're not losing weight so in this video I'm going to go into it a little deeper and where are you likely to be eating more sugar than you realize okay so the first mistake that we sometimes make and we have more sugar than we thought we were going to be having is because we are snacking between meals now we need to eat meals at predetermined times and give our bodies a chance in between meals to digest the food and to then do other things if we're snacking intermittently between meals our digestive system is constantly being pushed and other systems get um, sort of secondary attention from our body so snacking is not a healthy way to go it also ensures that your blood insulin stays at a higher basic rate which prevents fat burning so snacking is not a good idea if you need to snack because you're traveling or your meals are just inconvenient go and watch my video on snacking which I just made like a couple of days ago that's linked down here as well so that you can see what to snack and what not to snack so that it doesn't actually sabotage your entire program right so snacking is could be one reason why you're eating sugars and carbohydrates that you don't actually realize another thing is that you will find hidden sugars in most processed foods so try to build your meals around food that looks like food looks like nature made it and not like man made it okay so it doesn't it comes from the fields not from a factory it comes from the garden um, because processed food almost always has extra sugar in it whether that's high fructose corn syrup or extra bulk from carbohydrate just to make it look and feel like more food has cereals injected into it processed food very often has hidden sugars in it um, then if you are eating vegetables be a bit more choosy about the ones you eat generally speaking the green leafy ones have virtually no sugar in them and vegetables which are a part of a plant that is built to store excess sugar for the plant okay that's what starch is it's just the sugar storage of the plant so that would be underground swollen plant parts like potatoes and carrots or vegetables that look like fruit because you know what they are so pumpkin for example it's a big fruit it's not a vegetable vegetable is a part of a plant fruit is what the part plant produces to carry the seeds and to try and get animals to eat the, to spread the seeds that's what fruit is so pumpkin is a fruit a tomato is a fruit don't eat the vegetables that are actually fruits and don't eat the vegetables that are starch storage organs because you're just eating the plants spare sugar supply then there are the things that are pushed and promoted to us relentlessly and sort of faked as part of a healthy diet essential parts of a healthy diet which we now know because we've got all the science and we know they're not grains lots of grains lots of whole grains especially complex carbohydrates these are all just other words for sugar starches sugar a carbohydrate is sugar that's what carbohydrate means it means made of sugar it's that's it so avoid the grains you don't want to be eating grains whether they're crushed up or still in their whole form they still starch fruit which I talk about in just about every video because fruit is a massive sugar bomb and you can say it's as natural as you like it isn't it used to be a long time ago it's now been crossbred and genetically modified to be much bigger much juicier much sweeter much higher sugar content than it ever did it's no longer seasonal because you can get it any time of the year from any place around the world and you can have a great big fruit salad every single day if you want to and that is not natural 
and it's not healthy and the sugar content is very high. So hidden sugars because you are still eating fruit. And then there's the even worse marketing scam, the so-called health foods, particularly when they come in the form of snacks like bran muffins. It's a muffin, it's a cake. Protein bars, no, it's a candy bar. It's got maybe 1% extra protein in it so that they can market it as a protein bar legally. It's a candy bar. Don't eat it. Smoothies, shakes, fruit-based, sweetened yogurt-based, anything sweetened, anything low-fat generally got more sugar in it than the full-fat version. So if you're going to eat dairy, eat full green dairy. Don't eat the low cream dairy. Okay, those are just some places where you will find hidden sugars. So if you are struggling to lose weight and you think maybe you, you're not eating sugar, but you don't understand why you're struggling, go through this list and just see if you have fallen into any of these traps. Now, if you want to know how to increase your fat, because that's really what you want to do, low carb actually means high fat. So if you're going low carb in your diet, but you're not going high fat, then what is where are you getting your energy from? That would explain why you're hungry. That could explain why you're snacking. You need more fat in your diet. And I have done a video, which I'm also going to link here, on a couple of easy tips to increase your fat intake, which will of course then stop you being hungry and prevent you from snacking. So thank you for watching the video, for liking the video, for sharing the video, and for subscribing to our channel.